ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه اما بعد we continue today and we don't have any ta'liqat from yesterday so we start with the 121st hadith which is in the 11th chapter bab rih rihun takunu qaribul qiyamah a wind that is going to be close to the day of judgment this hadith is in muslim عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن الله يبعث ريحا من اليمن Allah is going to send a wind from Yemen اليناء من الحرير softer than silk فلا تدع أحد في قلبه it is not going to leave anyone that is in his heart qala abu alqama one of the narrators Al abu alqama said mithqalu habbatin the weight of a grain wa qala abu wa qala abdul aziz mithqalu dharratin the weight of an ant right fala tad'u ahadan fi qalbihi mithqalu habbatin then it will not leave anyone that has in his heart the weight of a seed or a grain or mithqalu dharratin the weight of a ant according to the two different narrators here Abu Alqama and Abdul Aziz min iman so whoever has this weight of a grain or a seed or the weight of an ant min iman fi qalbihi from Iman has that amount of Iman in his heart illa qabadat hu except that the wind will take him meaning it will take his soul right this wind that Allah is going to send from Yemen softer than silk is not going to leave anyone who has in his heart the weight of a seed or the weight of an ant of Iman except that it's going to snatch him or take him away this hadith is in Muslim number 117 the next hadith in another chapter bab in hisar oh no in hisar al furat an jabal min al dhahab that there's going to be uh the furat which is the euphrates river is going to expose a mountain made of gold this hadith is mutafaqun alay an Abi Hurairah radiyallahu anhu qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yushiku al-furat an yahsira an kanzin min dhahab that it is close yushiku it is close that the furat that the Euphrates river and yahsira and kenzin min dhahab that it's going to expose or uncover a treasure from gold faman hadarahu so whoever is there whoever is present at that time fala ya'khud minhu shay'a then do not let him take anything from it this hadith is in bukhari number 7119 and in muslim number 2894 the next hadith which is in Muslim An Ubay ibn Ka'ab radiyallahu anhu qala inni sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Ubay ibn Ka'ab said I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying yushiku al-furatu an yahsira an jabalan min dhahab it is close to the time it is soon to happen that the Euphrates river will uncover a mountain from gold فَإِذَا سَمِيَا بِهِ النَّاسِ صَارُوا إِلَيْهِ so if the people hear about it they're going to go towards it right فَيَقُولُوا مَنْ عِنْدَهُ so those who are there 
and who are near it, they will say, La in Tarakna Nas Yahuduna Minhu. If we were to leave the people to take from it, La Yudhabanna Bihi Kulli, then they will take all of it. Kala Fayakti Luna Alay, so then they will fight one another for it. Fayuktal and so they will be killed. Min kulli mi'atin tis'atun wa tis'un. From every 100 people, 99 will be killed. This hadith is in Muslim number 2895. The next hadith, a new chapter. Bab kathratul mal wa ikhdirar ard al-arab. The abundance of wealth and the, the becoming green of the land of the Arabs. Right, the ikhdirar, the fact that it will become green, right? This hadith is mutafaqun alayhi an Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu qala qala nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la taqumu sa'atu The hour will not be established hatta yakthura fikumul mal until wealth becomes abundant amongst you. Fayafidu and so it will flow. Hatta yuhimma rabb al mali man yakbalu sadaqatahu until it will worry the one who has wealth who is going to accept his sadaqa. Wa hatta yaridahu and until when he offers it alladhi yaridahu alay the one who is it is offered to him he says la araba li I have no need for it I have no want for it. This hadith is in Bukhari, number 1412, and in Muslim, number 157. Zad Muslimun, Muslim added, وَحَتَّ تَعُودَ أَرْضُ Arab مُرُوجًا وَأَنْهَارًا In Muslim, he added the phrase, and until the earth of the Arabs, the land of the Arabs, returns to being pastures and rivers. Green pastures and rivers. The next hadith, Anhu, meaning An Abi Huraira, radiallahu anhu, qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, la takumu sa'a, the hour will not be established, hatta ta'uda ard al Arab, murujin wa anharin. The, the hour will not be established until the earth of the Arabs, the land of the Arabs, returns to being green pastures and rivers. وَحَتَّ يَسِيرُ رَاقِبُ بَيْنُ الْإِرَاقِ وَمَكَّةِ لَا يَخَافُ إِلَّا ضَلَالِ الطَّرِيقِ Right? And until, and until a boat, or, or, or not a boat, a rakib here is not a boat, that's markab. And until a rider, meaning someone who's riding on his animal traveling, he will uh, will travel from Iraq to Mecca and he doesn't fear anything. لا يخاف, he doesn't fear, إلا ضلال الطريق, except for being lost on the road. That's the only thing he fears. He doesn't fear uh, highway robbers or, or anything happening. He only fears being lost on the road. وَحَتَّى يَكْثُرُ الْحَرَجِ And until Haraj increases, قَالُوا وَمَا الْحَرَجَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ And what is Haraj, O Messenger of Allah? قَالَ الْقَطَرِ He said it is killing. This hadith is in the Musnad of Imam Ahmed. Hadith number 8,833. إِسْنَادُهُ صَحِيْ عَلَى شَرْطِ مُسْلِمْ It's hadith, it's chain is authentic according to the conditions of Muslim. The next hadith in the next chapter, the 14th chapter, Bab Khurujun Nar Min Ardil Hijaz, the, the coming of the fire uh, from the land of Hijaz. Hadith number 126. It's Mutafakun Alay, an Abi Hurairata, and a Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, La takumu sa'atu. Hatta takhruja narun min ardil hijaz. The hour will not be established until the fire comes from the land of the hijaz. Nudiya a'anaq al ibli bil basra. That it will light up the necks of camels in basra. 
This hadith is in Bukhari number 7118 and Muslim 2902. The next hadith, وعن عبد الله بن عمر رضي الله عنهما قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ستخرج نار من حدرموت There's going to come a fire from حدرموت in Yemen أو من نحو بحر حدرموت أو من نحو بحر حدرموت or from close to the river or sea the sea of حدرموت قبل يوم القيامة before the day of judgment تحشر الناس it's going to gather the people this fire is going to gather to the people together قالوا يا رسول الله فما تأمرنا فما تأمرنا he said, O mess they said, O Messenger of Allah, with what do you command us? So what do you order us to do when this happens? Kala alaykum bisham. Stick to a sham. Go to Syria. Go to the Levant. Right? Sham, Iraq, that area. Jordan. This hadith is in Termidi, number 2217, and it is Sahih. The next hadith in a new chapter for us. Bab al Khasaf bil Jaysh al Ladi ya Umul Bait. Get to scroll down. Right, the 15th chapter. Right, this hadith is on Mutafakun Alay an Aisha ta radiallahu anha qalat. She said, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, يَغْزُوا جَيْشُ الْكَعْبَةَ That a, a army, a jaysh, will يَغْزُوا, will be in a battle, will attack the Kaaba. Right? فَإِذَا كَانُوا بِبَيْدَاءِ Oh, asif. فَإِذَا كَانُوا بِبَيْدَاءَ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ يُخْسَفُوا بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخِرِهِمْ so when they the invaders reach Beida, a place Beida, when they reach that place, right, then the earth is going to yuchsafu. It's going to swallow the first of them and the last of them. It's going to sink and swallow them up. Call it. She said, Aisha radiallahu anha, anha kultu. I said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah. كَيْفَ يُخْسَفُ بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخِرِهِمْ How is it going to swallow up the first of them and the last of them? وَفِيهِمْ أَسْوَاقُهُمْ وَمَنْ لَيْسَ مِنْهُمْ And there are amongst them those people who are in their marketplaces, right? There's their marketplaces and those who are not from them, meaning not from those invaders. قَالَ يُخْسَفُ بِأَوَّلِهِمْ وَآخِرِهِمْ It's going to swallow the first of them and the last of them. ثُمَّ يُبْعَثُونَ عَلَى نِيَاتِهِمْ And then they are going to be resurrected upon their intentions. This hadith is in Bukhari number 2118 and in Muslim number 2884. The next hadith number 129 from Muslim and Um Salamata Radiallahu Anha, the mother of the believers, Umul Mu'minin Radiallahu Anha, she said, Qalat, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Ya'udhu a'idun bil bayt. He said, Ya'udhu, from A'udhu billahi min ash someone, A'id is one who seeks refuge. A person who seeks refuge will seek refuge in the house, meaning in the Kaaba. فَيُبْعَثُ إِلَيْهِ بَعْثٌ So, a ba'ath, uh, 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 something which is sent out, right? Someone that is, uh, that is dispatched. Basically, a group of people will be sent after him. فَيُبْعَثُوا إِلَيْهِ بَعْثٌ So there will be a group, a, a, a party that is sent out after him or to him. فَإِذَا كَانُوا بِبَيْدَاءَ So when they are in بَيْدَاءَ 
Min al ard from the earth, this place called Beda, when they are on this, it's a plain, right? Khusifa bihim. It's going to swallow them up. Faqutu ya Rasulullah. So I said, this is Um Salama radiallahu anha. She said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, Fakaifa bi men kana karihan. So what about the one who was forced to be there? What about the one who was forced to join that army or forced to be in that area? Qala yukhsafu bihi ma'ahum. He's going to be swallowed up with them. وَلَكِنَّهُ يُبْعَثُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ عَلَى نِيَّتِهِ But he's going to be raised up on the Day of Judgment upon his intentions. This hadith is in Muslim number 2882. The next hadith, next chapter, Bab Dhikru Ibn Sayyad. The mentioning of Ibn, oh, Ibn Sayyad. This hadith is in Muslim. عن عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله عنه كنا قال he said كنا مع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فمررنا بسبيان فيهم ابن صياد he said we were with the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم so we passed by some young children some young boys and amongst them was Ibn Sayyad. This child, his name was Ibn Sayyad. Fafarra Subyanu wa Jalasa Ibn Sayyad. So all of the children ran, right? Except Ibn Sayyad who sat down. Fakaanna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kariha dharik. So it was as if the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't like that. فَقَالَ لَهُ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ So the Messenger of Allah or the Prophet وسلم, said to him, تَرِبَتْ يَدَاك May your hands be covered in dust. أَتَشْهَدُ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهُ Do you testify that I am the Messenger of Allah? فَقَالَ لَا So he said, no. بَلْ تَشْهَدُ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهُ He said, rather, you testify that I am the Messenger of Allah. فَقَالَ عُمَرِ بِنَ الْخَطَّابِ So Ibn al-Khattab, he said, ذَرْنِي يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ حَتَّى أَقْتُلَهُ Leave me, O Messenger of Allah, until I kill him. فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم So the Messenger of Allah, صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, إِنْ يَكُونِ الَّذِي تَرَى If he is who you think, who you, who, who you see, he, he, see him as being, فَلَنْ تَسْتَطِيعَ قَتْلَهُ Then you will not be able to kill him. This hadith is in Muslim number 2924. The 131st hadith. Right? From Muslim. An Abi Sayyid al Khudri radiallahu anhu. Qala kharajna hujajan o umaran. He said, We went out and we were hujaj. We were going to make hajj or we were going to make umrah. ومعنا ابن صاعد and with us was ابن صاعد قال فنزلنا منزلا so we stopped at a place فتفرق الناس وبقيت أنا وهو so the people spread out and it remained me and him فاستوحشت منه وحشة شديدة so Astohashtu, meaning I was uncomfortable. Minhu. Fastohashtu, I was uncomfortable. Minhu. From him, wahshatan shadidatan, a, a severe uncomfortableness. Mima yuqalu alay. From what the people were saying about him. From what was said about him. Qala wa jaa bi mata'ihi. So he came with his goods, with his bags, right? فَوَضَعَهُ مَعَ مَطَاعِ And he placed his, his bags, his luggage, his things that he was carrying with him, and he placed it with my stuff, with my luggage, with my bags. فَقُلْتُ إِنَّ الْحَرَّ شَدِيدٌ Indeed, the heat is severe. فَلَوْ وَضَعْتَهُ تَحْتَ تِلْكَ الشَّجْرَةِ So if you just placed it right beneath that tree, قَالَ فَفَعَلَ So he did it. 
Qala, he said, Rufi'at lana ghanam. And so there appeared in front of us, Rufi'at, there was raised in front of us, there appeared in front of us some ghanam, some sheep. Fantalaqa faja'a bi'us. So he went and he brought some milk. This us, this milk straight out of the sheep. Faqala ishrab. So he said, drink, Aba Sa'id. So he said, drink, O Abu Sa'id. Faqultu. So I said, Inna al hara shadid wa labanu har. Indeed, it is the, the heat is extreme and the milk, the us, the, the, the laban, is hot. Ma bi illa ani akrahu an ashraba ashraba an yadihi. He said, there wasn't anything really wrong with it except. I didn't want to drink from, I, I disliked that I drink from his hand. Oqala, or he said, Akhuda an yadi, or that I take from his hand. Faqala, Aba Sa'id. So he said, Aba Sa'id, he's talking to Abu Sa'id al Khudri. Laqad hamamtu an akhuda hablan. I thought, I was thinking I had the resolve to take a rope. فَأُعَلِّقَهُ بِشَجْرَةً And then hang it on a tree. ثُمَّ أَقْتَنِقَ مِمَّا يَقُولُ لِي الناس. And then hang myself from what the people are saying about me. يَا أَبَا سَعِيد O oh, Abu Sa'id مَنْ خَفْيَ عَلَيْهِ حَدِيثُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم مَا خَفْيَ عَلَيْكِ he said, some of the people, right? Men khafiya alayhi hadith Rasulullah sallam, ma khafiya alayhi. What is hidden from khafiya? Men khafiya alayhi hadith. Whoever the hadith is hidden from him, the hadith for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ma khafiya alaykum. It is not hidden from you. Ma'ashar al-ansar, a group, a group of the ansar. Alasta min a'lam in nas bi hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Aren't you the most knowledgeable of people of the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Alaysa qad qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hua kafir wa anna muslim. Did not the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say he is a kafir? Meaning he's talking about the Dajjal because they were saying that he was the Dajjal. So the people were scared of him and not wanting to be around him. Right? So he said, did not the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say about him he's a kafir and I'm a muslim? Awalaysa qad qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or did not the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say huwa aqeem la yulid allahu he is uh, barren he doesn't have children wa qad taraktu waladi bil madina and I left my child in Medina Awalaysa qad qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or did not the prophet the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say la yadkhulu al madina wa la makkah he will not enter Medina nor Mecca. وَقَدْ أَقْبَلْتُ مِنَ الْمَدِينَ وَأَنَا أُرِيدْ مَكَّةً And I left Medina and I'm on my way to Mecca. قَالَ أَبُوْ سَعِيدُ الْخُدْرِ Then Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, he said, حَتَّى كِدْتُ أَنْ أَعْذِرَهُ I was about to take his excuse. ثُمَّ قَالَ And then he said, أَمَا وَاللَّهِ إِنِّي La arifuhu. He said, except for Allah, I know who he is. Wa arifu maulidahu. Wa ainahu al an. And I know where he was born and I know where he is now. Qala. This is Abu Sayyid al Qudri. He said, Qultulahu. I said to him, Tabban laka sa'ir al yom. He said, May you be uh, ruined. Maybe this, may, your, may, your, may you be like tabbat yada, right? May you be cursed or perish. The rest of the day. This hadith is in Muslim 2927. And the next hadith. And it is our last one for today. Because the next chapter is very long. Bab ma yakunu min futuhat qabla dajjal. What is going to happen from the uh, openings. From the conquerings. From the conquests before the dajjal. This hadith is in Muslim. عن جابر بن سمرة رضي الله عنه عن نافع بن أتبا قال This is from Nafi' ibn Utbah who said 
كنا مع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في غزوة. We were with the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم in a battle. قال فآت النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قوم من قبل المغرب. So some people came from to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم from the west. عليهم ثياب الصوف. They were wearing clothes made of wool. فوافقوه عند أكمة. So they met him at a hill, an akma, akma, right? It's a hill. فَإِنَّهُمْ لَقِيَامٌ وَرَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم قائد. For they were standing and the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم was sitting. قال, he said, فَقَالَتْ لِي نَفْسِي So I said, so my soul said to me, it to him, right? It to him. They basically they came. فَقُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَهُ لَا يَغْتَالُونَهُ He said, I'm going to go to them and I'm going to stand between them. It to him. I'm going to go to them. It to him. Go. He said to himself, go to them. I apologize. I translated it funny. فَقَالَتْ لِي نَفْسِي So myself said to me, my soul said to me, it to him, go to them. فَقُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَهُ So stand between them and between them. لَا يَغْتَلُونَهُ So then they will not be able to kill him or overtake him or, or assassinate him. قَالَ ثُمَّ قُلْتُ Then I said, لَعَلَّهُ نَجِيٌّ مَعَهُمْ Perhaps, it is something, Naji, a private conversation, like the word Najwa. It is something private between them. فَأَتَيْتُهُمْ فَقُمْتُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ وَبَيْنَهُ So I came and I stood between them and him. قَالَ He said, فَحَفِذْتُ مِنْهُ أَرْبَعَ كَلِمَاتِ So I memorized from him four words, four things. Right? A'uddahunna fi yadi. I'm going to, or I can count them on my hand. Qala. He said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tagzuna jaziratul Arab. Fayaftahuha Allah. You will fight in the Arabian Peninsula and Allah will open it up for you. Thumma faris. Fayaftahuha Allah. And then you will fight Persia, and they, Allah will open it up for you. ثُمَّ تَقْزُونَ الرُّمْ And then you will fight Rome, فَيَفْتَحُوهَا Allah. So then Allah will open up Rome for you. ثُمَّ تَقْزُونَ Dajjal. And then you will fight the Dajjal, فَيَفْتَحُوهُ Allah. And then Allah will give you the opening or the conquest over him. قَالَ He said, فَقَالَ النَّعْفِعِ So Nafi' said, Ya Jabir, O Jabir, لَا نَرَّاءَ الدَّجَّالِ يَخْرُجُ حَتَّى تُفْتَحَ الرُّمْ He said, we do not think that the Dajjal will come. He will not come out until Rome is conquered. This hadith is number 2900 in Muslim. And it's what we wanted to present today, as I said, because the next chapter is very long it has hadith number 135 is a very long three four page hadith and so we won't be able to cover that much on our next lesson but this is what we wanted to cover today again any uh, mistakes from cotton mouth or just me uh, translating and getting a little uh, confused i apologize at that point for that uh subhanakallahumma bihamdika shadu wa la ilaha ila anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik